Hiya, Libra. This is our angel, and I am here to bring you your love and relationships tarot and oracle card reading. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or anywhere else you may have Libra in your chart. Although the video is being published for May 2020, it may resonate at any given moment in time. Um, please be sure to check the description box for any kind of new information that I may have for you guys. Also, if this reading does resonate, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I am using my Arcanum deck, clarifying with my standard rider weight, and at the end I will pull some love or romance angel oracle cards for additional guidance uh, from the universe. All right, Libra, what you got goings on? What you got goings on? You tired. Uh, angels are saying to me, kind of feel like, yeah, you were just in this tug of war. I don't see the five of wands out here, but I feel like there was a scurfuffle, as Judge Judy would say. Oh, there it is. There you go. Five of wands. All right. Makes sense. I just felt that energy like, it's almost like I feel the back and forth and then you would just like, fuck it. I'm going to just let go. Okay. Uh, Four of cups is... You guys not giving a fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for like angelic knowledge to come in. And, you know, I'm waiting for like this Zeus and Moses type of wisdom. But angels are like, they just don't give a fuck. She just don't give a fuck. He just don't give a fuck. Look, they're tired. Um, For another sign, I would call this being burnt out. But for you, Libra, this is just unbothered, right? You guys are probably the most resilient, especially when it comes to love. You keep going at it. You keep going at it. You keep going at it, right? Because again, you look for justice. You try to keep them scales balanced 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But for right now, you're like, mm, y'all can have them damn scales. Forget you and them scales. Okay? Whomever or whatever this is has you caught up um, in your head, in your mind right now. Um... Angels are saying to me, replaying. They keep replaying over and over what has happened, the words that were said. So this kind of quote-unquote sparring match that you guys had could have been verbal, right? You know, for, forget you and your mother and your little pinky toe, right? Like whomever this is, whomever this was, or whatever this situation was, um, the person went in, or you might have went in. And I feel like it was the other person who went in because Libras, y'all, y'all are the peacekeepers. Y'all are the, the, the diplomats of the Zodiac. Y'all ain't trying to like, you know, cause no interruptions in, in nothing. And, you know, for you guys who had this situation, I, I apologize. I feel so sorry, especially that you guys are dealing with this right now because it's almost like, again, it's like somebody just took your kindness for weakness. They took your kindness for weakness and gave you both cheeks of their ass to kiss, right? And Libras are like, well, what am I supposed to do with this now? Now, mind you, this is a love and relationships reading. So it focuses on the relating part of, you know, relationships. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship specifically. Could be between you and your boss. Could be you between you and your best friend. Could be you between you and your parents. It could between be between you and um, somebody else. Sorry, I just got like a little quote unquote blinded by the second row, but we'll kind of just keep going. Um, Angels said that this person twisted your words. I feel like this person lied on you or they lied to you. Angels are also saying too that there was a heavy amount of betrayal here. Um, and... You know, I can, I can say all of that totals up and equals up to being deceitful, right? Like, duh, right? But I kind of feel like this person was, it was almost like they were deceiving and then they mixed a little bit of emotion into it and they fucked you over and then they did a couple of things, right? 
So to me, in my opinion, this is the worst kind, right? Because this is the kind that kind of hits you skin deep, right down to the core, because they, they messed around and was loving you as they were deceiving you. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, y'all know these wands are my phallic cards. And to me, again, this was the, this was the, yeah, our, sorry, I'm just going to repeat myself because that's exactly what I said. I was just, uh, angels just gave me information for this card. And it was just like, you know, while they were fucking you over, they were kind of making you into a believer. They were making you believe that, you know, we were going to go somewhere and, that, you know, this relationship was going somewhere. And in the end, now you sit here stuck because you're like, but they love me. I know that they love me, but they fucked me over. So you're like, this is a decision, a difficult decision that you don't want to have to make. And that's exactly what the two of swords are, right? The two of swords is having to make a hard decision, a decision that's just going to reshape the course of your destiny or, you know, your situation or your life, right? And you see her there blindfolded because she don't want to have to do it. Not only that, she doesn't want to have to do it consciously, right? These are swords. She doesn't want to have to do it consciously. So she's relying on that inner wisdom, that inner voice, that praying, that dear God, please guide me, that God, you know, um, give me a sign. Let me know. Hint, Libra, when God comes and gives you a parade of a sign, you're going to freaking ignore it anyway. Sorry, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. You, again, y'all know me as an honest reader. If it comes to me, if I'm given permission to give it to you, you got to get it. It is what it is. Okay. So there is the five of wands, of course, all, also indicating that tug of war, but also at the same time, the, um, look at this, the wheel of fortune and then the lover's card that's under it, right? Sorry for the glare. All of this stuff is at the bottom of the deck. And this again is when God brings you the parade, right? He's going to show you whether to stay or leave. And I kind of feel like to an extent, you're going to think you're supposed to stay and then bam, you're going to wind up in the same situation again. Okay. Sorry, Libra, you know, um, but let's take a look at these cards here because these cards, you know, kind of indicate too that yes, if you do walk away, right? You're going to be feeling all abandoned, like nobody want me, right? But once you start getting out there in the world and circulating like the queen bitch you are, the king bitch you are, right? You're going to find love, right? People are going to learn the value, right? The nine of pentacles. This is somebody who's very abundant. They got money. They got status. They got this, right? I kind of feel like to an extent, this is the universe's way of saying to you, Libra, all right, if you kick that person to the curb or, you know, you move away from that situation, right? Move away from that situation and be the queen bitch that you are, males included, right? That cycle is going to end, okay? You're going to walk away from it and then you're going to get the love you wanted, the love that you wanted and the love that you wish for, Okay? Don't feel bad, right? Angels are saying this is you not healed, right? This is you still recovering from the ass kicking of this relationship. Your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-power taking a bit of a hit, right? But then you got to bounce back, right? Look at the card that's up under it, the four of wands. You have to bounce back. I'm not going to pull the hanged man, but look at the king of wands is down there too. And there's a, the, sorry, I know I must be going through these real quick. But um, you also have the uh, King of Wands down there too. So it's almost like if you can like take your position as this person, right? As, as who you are, the passionate queen, kind of angels are saying, this is weird because angels are saying, oh, you gotta, you guys have to take the side of love, which is typical for Libra. But, but again, by the way, Libra wants to keep the peace. So it's almost like you're going to root for love and you're going to take the side of love. Um, but you're going to take the side of love and that's going to help get you back on track. Because I do feel like in this current situation, love is not really present. And where it used to be, 
that shit is burnt out. That shit is worn out. It's 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 worn out. Whomever this is, they have sucked you dry. I mean, look at the the swords and the two wands here. This person has done a, a job on you, Libra. Um, and I feel angels are saying, yeah, you guys are weary, right? You guys are absolutely weary. You're worn out. Card fell. Ugh. Um, you're weary and you're worn out, so it's time to move on. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. These are the romance angel cards. Now, angels, is this applying to the person they just left? Yeah, yeah, this is. This is related to the person you just left, which to me is why it's so difficult for some of you to maybe walk away or you're in disbelief. I can't believe this person did this to me. Um, because again, you thought you were going to marry them. You thought your relationship was going so well. <laughs> Angels are showing to me wolves and sheep's clothing, which basically means that you were relating, you were happy go lucky and whatever this situation was, you would just, you know, um, status quo, just going with the flow. And then all of a sudden the freaking, the, the fucking bottom just fell out. And then all of a sudden, you know, you wake up the next day and you're single you're back on the market. You're back to trying to build a new relationship. Everything that you have invested has just gone to shit, right? So I hate that if that's if this is your situation that that happened, Libra. But I feel like the reason why, again, it was so hard for you to walk away from this person was because it felt so familiar. I mean, this was those. This feels like one of those relationships where. You've known each other so long, you start looking like each other. You know each other so long that eventually y'all start feeling like brother and sister. I know that sounds a little gross, but it just talks about the closeness, the connection, and the re the relationship part of the the uh, connection. You know, the, or I should say, the connection part of the relationships. I'm dyslexic. Whatever. Um. <laughs> so it it feel it. That's the reason why it's so hard for you to walk away and let go, basically, is because this was a past life relationship. Wedding, this, situa this situation involves marriage. Yeah, you guys you guys were um, on the track of being married. Now, what I'm going to say to you too, Libra, is that at the end of the day, you make your own decision, do whatever you want to make you happy. If you decide to stay into, into this relationship, remember that unfortunately... Whatever it is that you are dealing with, I feel like you're going to continue, you're going to have to, you're going to have to deal with over and over, right? This person to me is just going to keep putting you through this stuff over and over and over again. But if you're not quote unquote strong enough to walk away because the bond is so airtight and excuse me, you guys do wind up getting married. Um, it's got, it's unfortunately it's going to tighten the bond, which means that as time goes on, it, the harder and harder it will be to walk away from this person. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay? So the romance angel cards are like, look, don't be so quick to walk away. Um, the the um, the rider weight is like, mm -mm, boo boo, walk away and, you know, fucking shut the door when you leave. Right? So again... You know something too, this is crazy because I, I just, I just, angels just said to me, Libra, this is a Libra relationship. This is a, really, a Libra reading. So of course, one hand is like stay, the other hand is like go. Typical Libra energy here, okay? So again, at the end of the day, you guys can do exactly what you want to do. Now I'm just going to read the cards uh, in pairs to get a different message or a more reinforcing message. Um... If for some reason you are feeling like crap and you're just like a little disconnected from your relationship, it may be time to kind of invest in yourself and invest in the things that make you happy. If you wanted to buy a house, if you wanted to buy a car, just do give your time, energy and resources to something that makes you happy and brings you happiness. The days of you sacrificing yourself for other people have to be over. I don't care what happens in this situation. You being the sacrificial lamb has to fucking end Libra. All right. That's for sure. Okay. 
This person's behavior is not acceptable. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they did. They need to be punished. Whether, whether or not you decide to kind of punish them by walking away from that behavior or, you know, um, withholding affection or withholding love or withholding whatever, it, it is necessary. I feel like whatever this was that happened, this person, forgive me for saying this, but it's almost like you, you don't deserve love. Like it's, it's like you can't reward bad behavior. You cannot reward bad behavior because the behavior, the behavior will continue. It will keep going. Okay. You know that you deserve love or angels are saying like with this alignment here, it's almost like the spark of new love, the spark of the spark of, it's not the spark of new love. It's the spark of love. So it's almost like, you know, don't let this get you down. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Don't let it break don't let it get to you to the point where you just kind of like shut down because that would be like the great greatest tragedy in all honesty for you as a Libra to stop love or discontinue love or just shut down a love factory inside of you. That would be a great tragedy within itself. You got to cut yourself out of and get yourself out of this feeling of feeling incomplete or not enough or not valuable to somebody. I don't care what it is that you have to do. You have to, you know, again, don't allow this person to get to you to that extent where now you just fucked up and you can't be shit to nobody else or you can be shit to, to everybody else. Okay. So don't sit in your thoughts too long about what you should have done, what you could have done. You know, if this could have happened this way, then this would don't get caught in the coulda, woulda, shouldas. Okay. Because you're going to be doing yourself another great injustice. Okay. Not only that, but whatever this back and forth and this bickering was, you the queen bitch. The queen always gets her way. Okay. The queen always gets her way. And also maybe there's something too says that whatever this push pull was, that again, Libra reading, you guys may come out of it like on top. And yeah, you may actually get to the wedding portion of this relationship. But again, I will warn you that whatever this behavior is, it comes with the territory, unfortunately. All right, my sweet Libra, that is a weird, weird, weird reading. Thank you so much for making it to the end if you did. I love you guys. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and I will talk to you soon. Bye.